Hello and welcome today to Mike's SAS Tutorials. Today I'm going to be covering a special topic lesson on configuring SAS environment for efficiency. Uh, the SAS environment, as you know, has many different parts to it. It has this editor, the log, the output, the explorer, and the results sections, among others. Now, when you're working in the editor, it's very important that you have everything color-coded in a way that you can look through it and right away identify different elements within your text. So, for example, here you can see in this yellowish background color we have cards items and in this green part we have comment items everything else is pretty much blue um, variables or random text or labels are black and if I had some kind of item um, that wasn't used like a model statement maybe it would be colored in red because this particular procedure doesn't use a model statement so the way you can color things uh, according to your own preferences uh, is handled by this Tools, Options, Enhanced Editor section. The Enhanced Editor options allow you to change what those color codes are. And um, by default, SAS uses this scheme, or like basically a theme, of the default theme. There's another one, or actually there's three others, Fusion, you can see here how it looks, Retro, you can see here how it looks, and Swing, and you can see here how it looks. Uh, it's personally um, or it's really rather a subjective thing on how you want to um, stylize your code but most people tend to go with the default personally I like to change a couple of items in the default in specifically to the macro definition keyword reference section word and so forth what I like to do is I like to give it a different background color of silver when I do this and I'm working with my code, I can right away see that macro items are going to have this silver background. That way, if I have a lot of text and I'm trying to find specific macros really fast, I can skim through my code and find all elements with this um, silver background. So you can see here in this example, there's a macro definition down here for this test macro that they've given you. Now that's all under the appearance. And if you want to use the default style, you can just go under the default scheme and everything is going to be just as you had it when you first installed SAS. Again, it's largely a thing, a uh, subjective choice, but I think that changing some elements allows you to find the code faster and thereby save you some time. The other thing is under the general tab, um, for the most part I accept the defaults that SAS gives you, but I changed this one part under tabs to give a tab size of two spaces and I make sure that both of these boxes are checked. The insert spaces for tabs and replace tabs with spaces on file open. The reason for this is in, in my own code I like to have um, everything indented properly so that I know that this particular section is a data step, this particular section is a procedure, and so forth. And in tabbing out everything I can read through my code very quickly and very efficiently. Um, for the most part, that's all that you're really going to need to change in terms of your editor. But sometimes you also need to use function keys. The function keys allow you to uh, jump between different uh, environments within the SAS environment, such as your editor, log, or output, uh, very efficiently, so that you don't need to use your mouse. So, for example, by default, the F8 key allows you to run all of the code that you've given it. And here, since I have... Um, a data step and a proc step that prints out some variable you can see it jumps to my output and you can see the the uh, oops the results right here um, what I do though is rather than using my mouse to jump it between log or editor or output I can hit the F5 key to go to sorry the F5 key to go to the editor the F6 key to go to the log, and the F7 key to go to my output window. Now personally I don't like that because the F7 is on the right of F5, whereas the output window here is on the left of my editor. So it would make more sense that this should be F5, this should be F6, and this should be F7. So to change that, you have to use what's called the uh, F9 DM keys window. And when you open it, it's basically a definition file. I'll zoom in here for you guys. A definition file that says, when I hit the F5 key, I want you to do this thing. F6 key, I want to do this thing. 
So you can see here F5 brings up this W program or our editor window. I'm going to change that to be the output window and the F7 to be now this W program. Now the F8 key, I have a very specific or a very uh, customized version of the F8 key. I think by default SAS's method uh, minimizes the editor, runs the code, and then shows you the output. Well, I don't like to do that because I want the output that I've previously used to be gone before I make new output. That way I'm always working on fresh output. And also, the log, I want to clear the log so that any new errors that come up, I can see them right away. So I type this output semicolon, clear semicolon, log semicolon, clear semicolon, w program semicolon, submit. Basically these are instructions saying jump to the output, clear it, jump to the log, clear it, jump to my editor, and submit the code that I've selected. When I do it this way, I'm always operating on a fresh um, output with a fresh log and using exactly the code that I've selected. So that's like a really efficient way that you can always make sure that you're operating on the correct output. So to give you an example, if I hit my editor and I select this procedure code and I hit F8, if you watch here specifically to the results, you're going to see that it's going to disappear. Or maybe it's happening too fast. It disappears and then it reprints it. So it deleted it and now it recreated it. And if I scroll down here to my log, you can see that if I scroll up, I can't really scroll up because that's all there is in my log. So it's very fresh and um, always the latest iteration. Now one last thing I want to point out is that there is a preferences section under tools, options, preferences that has many different um, tabs that you can work with here. Um, there's the general, view, edit, results, web, and advanced. I tend not to mess with any of this except for uh, the results. And I'm going to point out one thing that SAS 9.3 did really well in that changing it changed this results window from being a listing to an HTML. And if you're using SAS 9.3, you may have noticed this change. Um, one thing that's really useful in using 9.3 is that when you click on specific table elements within your output uh, with your right click, you'll have new options now that weren't previously available in SAS 9.2. Uh, tables to Microsoft Excel or Microsoft OneNote or any uh, system that is supporting this function. Uh, I don't use SAS 9.3 personally, I just don't have the license for it, I use SAS 9.2 and um, by default I use this create listing. Now if you want to know what the listing does, it's pretty much the default behavior that you're used to in that it sends everything to the output and it presents it in this kind of text form so that you can select things um, and whatnot. One thing uh, that's really important to know or uh, really useful I guess is that when you're trying to select this kind of code and you want to copy it, like let's say I say control C, uh, I open a notepad window and I paste it, everything is really offset, right? And then the reason it's offset is that it has all these extra spaces. Well if you hold the alt button and select code you can have a very specific section of your output copied. Um, because I work so much with um, SAS and Excel together in producing my tables or output, I tend to use this alt selection system um, rather than using an HTML output system. Uh, if you're using ODS output, it's uh, a completely different thing and you don't need to worry too much about how you um, create the output because your output's going to bypass this output environment anyway. Anyway, so those are a few things uh, just to understand as far as configuring SAS so that you don't have to worry too much about uh, wasting time looking for specific code or uh, jumping between different windows. Here you can see I could just quickly jump between them. Um, and it's really useful. It makes it very efficient for you. So I hope you enjoyed that video and hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.